with you again. It is a European Parliament workshop. And usually we are hosted for the lunch debate uh, by uh, most often by Deidre Klune, by the member of European Parliament. And I am happy that she is again here with us. And I think that it would be great if you could kindly open our meeting and then we can uh, continue. Thank you. Thank you, Eva. And uh, thanks for the opportunity again to be with you and to host, which I'm, I'm delighted to do. And I know some of my other colleagues are very interested as well, colleagues in the European Parliament. So, and thanks to Alzheimer's Europe and welcome to everybody. Um, normally we would have a, a lunch debate, which is probably much more sociable and nice. And, and hopefully we'll get back to that point again. But really, you know, I'm, I'm, my, I'm really committed to, um, to this, these type of events. I think they broaden our knowledge so much about um, Alzheimer's, about dementia and its impact on society and how we can help. And it's not just, um, it's not a, a single disease as, we, as everybody knows on, on this meeting. It's not a, a, a national process of aging, a, a natural process of aging. And dementia is not the same for everybody. Um, so understanding is really, really important. And that's the, the title of, of our, our meeting today, uh, changing our understanding. And um, really, uh, we have some very excellent speakers. Alzheimer's Europe have organized some excellent speakers who I know are going to um, broaden our knowledge tremendously. And we look forward to their presentations. Um, we need to keep dementia as a priority at European level uh, for in supporting in, in research to su support uh, developments. Uh, to uh, we need to, and to support and to collaborate as well in terms of best practice and what can be done and uh, to develop a deep, deeper understanding across Europe and a deeper sense of, of being together in facing uh, this challenge for those people that have Alzheimer's, particularly for their, uh, for their family members and for their carers as well, who I know are always seeking further information on how can, how can they be helped and how can they help the process. So it's going to be a really uh, exciting, important meeting. Um, I'm looking forward again. And as always, these meetings are so informative. So I'm really looking forward to hearing the presentations. And again, delighted that we're able to keep uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, keep them at the, to the fore and keep promoting it at European level to ensure that we broaden the understanding we attract research investment and we actually and develop and coordinate and develop a European response. So again, Eva, thank you for involving me and thank you for the, all the efforts that you do make. Um, it's on your resolve is unstinting. So uh, again, so congratulations to all involved and looking forward to the contributions. Thank you very much, Deidre. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate your support. Uh, and thank you for your kind, kind and wise words. And uh, I would like also to uh, welcome uh, Roberta Metzola, MEP from Malta, and Mari Mariki Kolm from Ireland, and also uh, Vladimir Cimosevic from uh, for sending his assistant. So of course they are also welcome uh, to. Um, contribute anytime their wish, of course, and also in the discussion. And I have in front of me the list of participants, but this list is not complete because I have only only 80 participants here on, on it, but uh, the, ch the number has changed very quickly during last days. And Gladys told me that we are expecting nearly or over 100 participants. So among participants of this um, workshop, our, our distinguished speakers, uh, members of the European Parliament, uh, uh, members from, uh, from European or participants from European Commission and World Health Organization, uh, also national ministry officers, and uh, last but not least, uh, very many uh, participants from Alzheimer Europe, European Working Group of People with Dementia, and uh, especially also a National Alzheimer Association. When I went through the list, I found that uh, possibly all countries are represented at, at this, uh, this meeting and uh, definitely all regions of Europe and not only Europe. And then we have also industry re and industry representatives and other representatives. And I will not take up uh, much of, of the time because I think that we, are, we all are looking forward to 
uh, to this meeting, to uh, presentations of our uh, distinguished speakers. And I think that we are uh, listening or we are just meeting in the time of a changing paradigm. We will be uh, listening to lectures about Alzheimer's uh, spectrum. And uh, yes, the research has been crucial in discovering the progression of disease and helped us to uh, detect it earlier in the stage of uh, pre-symptomatic disease and mild cognitive impairment, et cetera, et cetera. But we will, we will listen more about it. And I think that it is a promise to uh, uh, be able, especially in the future and hope, hopefully in the uh, not far away future, uh, to have a, a drug and uh, drugs, effective drugs and, uh, and uh, interventions to cure uh, and stop uh, developing, uh, developing disease. But as we all know, there are some hope, some promises, some um, uh, achievements that will be presented, but there is a need for further uh, research and uh, understanding. And yes, it will hopefully lead to the cure in the future, as I already said. <laughs> 